Hey, welcome back to my so-called mom life. So, adulting today, I got my new vacuum. Backstory, we bought a new vacuum, oh, January of last year. It was a Yeedy, and we named her Dot. She was great all the way up until about six months ago. She kind of stopped picking up as much, and then three months ago, she pretty much just started pushing everything around. That being said, we of course did not keep the receipt, couldn't find the receipt. Customer service would not help us, although it pretty, they pretty much sounded like they knew exactly why it broke. There was a piece that fell off and it sounded like something that happens a lot, but without the receipt, they were unable to help us. So, Lulu, no. So, we had to order a new vacuum and we did a lot of research. We watched numerous videos, read numerous articles on the best robot vacuums, for hardwood with pet hair and um, Roborock came up the most and came up as the top five out of everything that we read. So that's what we chose and it came today. It's early, so that's even more exciting. We had a plumbing disaster where they had a ton of cement that they had to take out, which created a lot of dust in my house and I'm allergic to dust. So much as I swept and mopped, it still did not take out the dust. So the fact that we now have this vacuum is huge for me. So without further ado, I'm gonna open it. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Excuse me, Star. Star would love to be in this box, and here we are. Star, you can't be in the box yet. Alright, that's a really big box for just a smaller box inside. So let's take this out and actually open it. Here, Star, you can have this box. All right, so here is the actual box for the Robo Rock. I have not named my robot yet. I'm not sure what its name's gonna be yet. We had Wally. We still have Wally. He runs upstairs. Uh, we have Eve, who is our robot mop. And uh, we love Eve. And then we had Dot, so. Now we have the Robo Rock. Now, I will say we did not go with the newest model. The newest model is an S7. We chose to go with the S6. The S7 had some reviews that hardwood was scratched easily with it. I don't believe that would have happened on our floors because we don't have real hardwood. We actually have scratch resistant waterproof flooring just in case we didn't want to chance it. Also, it had some other things that we didn't necessarily need for the additional $100. So we chose to go with the one down model, which is the S6 Max. Uh, now I do know that this is a mop and a vacuum. Don't know if we'll use the mop as much because we have Eve, but it's always a good thing. After watching all the reviews and all of the trials that they did on YouTube with these, we noticed that this particular one did the mapping very easily and within 16 minutes. Whereas a lot of others took 25 minutes or more to map and clean. When I say mapping, that means that it is the way that the vacuum navigates. All of the ones that we've had previously were called the bump and go, which means it would go until it bumped into something, turn, go straight, bump into something, turn, go straight. The navigation mapping actually means that what it does is it starts in a straight line, goes around in a border, and then goes in a zigzag pattern. So it covers more ground in a quicker way. It also has the AI function, so not only can I just say to Google to start the vacuuming if, let's say, I don't have it scheduled and I just need it to go. Uh, I can do that. I can also on my phone schedule it to do certain times of the day. I can also with my finger tell it where I want it to avoid or where to go, which is really cool. So that way it knows, for example, if I wanted to avoid the Lego set that my kid is building in the next room over, 
I'll just put a border there on the app and it knows immediately to avoid that area. It also has extreme suction on hardwood floors. So it picked up 100% of pet hair in all of its testing. It also picked up 99% of debris in its testing. And because of all the issues that we had with our previous only being a year old, I bought the extended warranty on this, so we are now covered for the next four years on it. So that's awesome as well. The pricing on it really wasn't horrible. We got this for under $500 and then we got the warranty as well on it was a little bit more. That is not bad for one of the top brands that is on the market right now, the top five. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and just show you what the actual vacuum looks like. And we'll go from there. All right, so here we go. Uh, this actually is for the mop, it goes on the floor under where you're going to have your vacuum so that if you mopped and it comes back it won't drip on the floor or cause the floor to have any moisture underneath the mop so the mop actually sits on here this is the actual mop itself so it's an attachment that you add to the vacuum and we have a user manual here's our cord and here's the HEPA filter that goes in. And this actually you can wash off and let it dry, air dry before putting it back in. Uh, so if you have a lot of dust like we do, or if you have allergens, you may want to rinse this every other time or possibly every time, depending on how dirty it gets. All right. For the main event, here is the charging station. You would put this up against the wall, and as you can see, there's the little marks here, and that is where the vacuum will sit to charge. And the vacuum itself. Oh, it's glittery. I think this might be a girl. I thought it would be a boy, but I don't know. It's a little too pretty to be a boy. That is a pretty vacuum. All right, so here we have power button, the home button where if I found this randomly in the house, say the battery died on it, uh, or it's close to being dead, I can hit the home button and it'll send it to its home charging dock. And I believe this is the mopping option. Now, here in the front is the water tank for the mop system. So that's where you would put your water. You just have this little thing here you would lift up put the water in put that back down now I will say this does not allow you to put any type of soap or detergent in it it's water only so if you need if you need soap uh, what I usually do is I have a bottle of Mr. Clean handy that or for wood floors you can use um, Murphy's oil and I just spray that on the floor and then I let the mop run that way she's only using water but we're actually getting it clean by using the soap. Here you can see this is the rotating brush and this is where it will gather hair, dust, debris and kick it into the dustbin. The wheel, it moves. This actually goes up and down so that if it's going over a high surface versus a low surface it can adjust itself. The wheels are also the same way to allow it to go over different terrain. These are kind of cool. Every other one we've ever had is the, are these like bristles, um, bristle brush. These are rubber. So they will not get as much hair and stuff tangled around them. So I feel like that's a really good improvement. And then these are cameras here for detection. And then of course the mop on the other side. And these are also sensors here.
There's also, if you lift up here, there's a little brush that you can use to clean any of the uh, debris out of the uh, dustbin. And here is the dustbin. So you just squeeze together and pick up. And here's the filter. And then here's where the actual dust collects. And in order to clean it, you just open, dump, and click back in place. And then that goes back in. There we go. All right, and there's also a Wi-Fi reset button in here, just in case it needs to be reset. So that's kind of neat. It's usually in the front like the water tank is, but instead it's in the actual robot itself, so that's kind of neat. All right, so that is the vacuum. I will see how it goes. I'm going to run it tonight, and I will give you my review tomorrow. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is my review of the Roborock vacuum. It definitely vacuums really well. It gets all the way around the edges. The mapping is phenomenal. I love it. I love that you can actually see what it's doing. I love the app so far. The app is really intuitive. It allows you to do a lot of different things. However, I will say the mop itself, and I'm not sure if I can really get a good angle to show you. There's probably a good one there. Uh, it leaves really bad streaks. And because it vacuums and mops at the same time, which is great, but that also means that I can't put any kind of soap or anything on the floors ahead of time. So that's kind of a bummer. That means that it does not disinfect or clean the floor. It just kind of wipes it with a wet mop. So that being said, I would prefer to use my other um, robot mop for that because that way I can specifically just mop. However, the vacuum function is probably the best vacuum that I've had, even with the more expensive Roomba that we had. So, and here it is on its little dock, charging and ready for tonight. And we do schedule it every night it cleans while we're sleeping, it's pretty quiet. It doesn't keep us up or we can't hear it like over the TV or anything like that. As you can see, I already have stuff on the floor, of course, from the animals and the kids already hanging out today. It does a pretty good job. So I will throw the link in the comments below if you wanna check it out. It is not very expensive for the amazing job that it does. I recommend especially the vacuum, I would say four out of five. Mop, I would only say two out of five, but it is a great vacuum. All right, so there you have it, guys. The Roborock Vacuum S6 Max is amazing. I do love it. I do recommend it. Again, I'll throw the link in the comments so that you can check it out for yourselves. If you are looking for a vacuum, vacuum slash mop, I do recommend this vacuum. I absolutely love it. I love the functionality of it. And like I said, the app is incredible compared to any other that we've had. And this is now our third or fourth vacuum. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today and taking a look at our review. If you have a review or if you have the same vacuum or a type of Roborock that you want to let us know about, feel free to throw that in the comments. We always love to hear from you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Hit the notification bell for more content as much more is to come. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.